Professor Dave and Chegg here, amides are another carbonyl containing functional group, and they are highly abundant in living organisms, being present in biomolecules like proteins and nucleic acids. But how are they prepared, and what kinds of chemistry do they commonly undergo in the lab? Let's do a quick survey. Most commonly, amides are prepared from acid chlorides. Since these are so reactive, ammonia, as well as primary and secondary amines, can attack the carbonyl and kick off the chlorine, yielding an amide, once deprotonation occurs. Since acid chlorides are easily prepared from carboxylic acids using SOCl2, this means that amides are easy to prepare from the more common carboxylic acids as well. In terms of reactivity, amides can easily be converted back into carboxylic acids via hydrolysis. This can be done in either acidic or basic conditions. If acidic, the carbonyl is protonated, then water attacks, then NH2 is protonated. The carbonyl reforms and ammonia is kicked off. This leaves us with a carboxylic acid. Under basic conditions, hydroxide attacks first, yielding the oxyanion. Then the carbonyl reforms, and NH2- is kicked off. This will promptly take the carboxyl proton, yielding the carboxylate anion, which will be protonated during aqueous acidic workup. Hydrolysis is harder to achieve under basic conditions because NH2- is such a bad leaving group. Much like other carbonyl-containing compounds, amides can be reduced. Treatment of amides with strong reducing agents, like lithium aluminum hydride, will produce the corresponding amine by reduction of the carbonyl into a mere methylene group, removing the oxygen entirely. This happens because the hydride reduces the carbonyl to the oxyanion, which coordinates to ALH3. Then the lone pair on the nitrogen kicks this moiety off entirely, yielding the iminium ion, and then an additional hydride reduces the iminium ion to produce the amine. This is especially effective with lactams, which are cyclic amides, which serves essentially to remove the carbonyl from the ring. So that's a bit about amides, their preparation, and the kinds of transformations they will commonly undergo. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.